PlanetScale just pulled the plug on developers and shut down its free tier. What's going on here? I'm going to give you my honest opinion as obviously a developer, but also as a CEO of an open source DevTools company in AI, and as somebody who had leadership positions in key developer tool companies like serverless, application, I'm a huge fan of developer tools. I love that space. I love giving to developers because I think developers are great ambassadors. And when you do that, you have to be careful and do things right. Let's talk about this. Okay, so first let's look at the headline, PlanetScale Forever. PlanetScale is committed to providing a reliable and sustainable platform, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so first of all, I do have a problem with this title. Um, I think this is the kind of title that looks good, but honestly, a lot of developers, probably thousands, if not tens of thousands of developers, just realize they have to pay 39 bucks for something that used to be free. Um, I think showing some compassion rather than choosing those edgy titles would have been a better move. That's just my opinion. Um, and you know, the subtitle, that's, you know, corporate talk, I get that. Um, here, the CEO, by the way, it's the CEO who published this blog post. The CEO says that obviously, you know, our, our service is mission critical and that they value reliability above everything else. And for them, reliability is not just about the technical side of things, but also building a self-sustainable business. Um, that's understandable. I'm going to talk about that in a second. And then he says, this is why I have made the decision to prioritize profitability for a planet scale. This is something I do appreciate. I, not we, not the team. I, the CEO takes responsibility. This is great to have in any situation, by the way. Um, okay, so there's two key decisions going on. One is a laying off some teammates at sales and marketing. If you're affected, I'm sorry for you. Uh, and then there's the topic of the day, which is sunsetting their hobby plan. Their hobby plan was a free plan, for those who don't know. Um, expressing gratitude, okay. And that is going to be effective on April 8, 2024. That's one month from now. So one month's notice for people to either migrate their projects or upgrade to a paid plan. Not great. And then the CEO proceeds to say that PlanetScale is the main database for companies totaling more than $50 billion in market cap. Okay, so here are my thoughts. Let's talk about prioritizing business and profitability. First of all, it's understandable. When you raise capital and you're a venture scale company, you have investors, you have a board, you have goals you need to meet, you have to meet those goals to raise your next round, to keep your company running. The most important advice that we get these days in accelerators is to, at any cost, keep our company running. So this part is acceptable and understandable. Um, you know, at the end of the day, companies do what they do to either get acquired or to IPO. Nobody does this for fun. It's honestly a pretty painful journey and you have to be a bit masochistic to do it, which is why many of us do it, because we are. But anyway, that's really the goal. The goal is to make money and if they don't do that, they're gonna die. Understandable. Now, here is where I have a problem. And here is what happens when you start an early stage DevTool company. You focus mostly on two things. One is open source, which PlanetScale is not. That's understandable, by the way. Many DevTools companies are not open source. There's reasons for that. You don't want to maybe make your intellectual property available to anyone. We've seen the Elasticsearch saga with AWS. And if you don't know about it, then let me know in the comments and I'll make a video about that. Anyway, that's open source. The other thing is community. If you serve developers, community needs to be one of your absolute top priorities. There is something called bottoms up developer led motion. You listen to developers, you build for developers, you talk to them often, they're in the trenches and they give you firsthand feedback of the problems they're facing so you can solve it for them. That is the play. So when you're not open source, the way you typically get developers to be ambassadors for you is when you give them free access to your cloud platform. PlanetScale solves a real problem and PlanetScale gave developers free access. That's how they got developers on board and what they benefited from here is advocacy. People loving the product, telling their friends, telling their developers, telling the decision makers who can then pay. That is the classic move in the developers tool space for startups. So now PlanetScale is pulling the rug on developers one month in advance, which honestly, I don't believe that if you're serving companies with a total market cap of $50 billion, you cannot afford to give your users more time to either migrate to another platform or to figure out what they're doing with their plan. I just don't buy that. The next package they offer is a $39 per month package for the lowest tier. 
from paying nothing to having to pay $39 just to keep running a project that was free at some point, that's kind of ridiculous. Now, I want to add something and say, I think PlanetScale's product is absolutely fantastic. One of the most annoying pains that you face as a developer that just needs to build, maybe you're in a small team, maybe you have a side project, or maybe you're just the kind of business that doesn't like operating infrastructure on your own, you get a serverless database that auto scales on its own. You get a fantastic, very intuitive user interface that gives you insights into your database operations. PlanetScale even has a feature that analyzes your database queries and tells you when you can optimize them. So there are great features. PlanetScale's product is fantastic. That's not the problem at all. The problem is that this move is going to cause a breach of trust between developers and DevTools companies. PlanetScale, again, became what it is because it had a free tier. It got to benefit from a lot of free marketing, advertising, and developer love. This is extremely valuable. Typically, these things happen when a DevTools company, a small company, gets acquired by a larger company like AWS or Google. And, you know, typically that small company has a great technology. The larger company, the acquirer, has high profile enterprise customers that would pay a lot of money for it. And they, you know, they, they acquire that company and they combine forces and leverage the technology to serve their paying customers. So it happens before with Heroku as well in 2022. It had tens of thousands of workloads running for free, many of them used in production at a small scale. And then Heroku just totally shut down their free offering. It happened with Travis CI, the most common CI platform at that time. They significantly minimized their free CI minutes. It happened many, many times. It happened with GitLab as well. We've seen this before. Anyway, I'm going to sum this up. All of the economy-related, business-related arguments here are totally valid. We understand why a company would want to make money. The way it was done, I don't think was great. I think the title was honestly not great. I think the messaging was, you know, very corporate talk. I don't think they consulted with developers to write this down. Giving developers one month to figure out what to do is just not okay, especially if you claim to serve a total market cap of $50 billion companies. Not great. Uh, I think what we're going to see PlanetScale doing is basically sinking and not in a bad way. I think they're going to be doing great. They have great technology and they can use their efforts to market their technology to well-paying customers like enterprises. We're not going to see a lot of PlanetScale DevRel, uh, you know, developer relations efforts, content and stuff like that. I think we developers should not really be silent about it. We are not doing free advertising. You give us something for free because it's great and it's great value and it is free and we're going to use it. And if it's great, we're going to tell the world about it. That's what happened with PlanetScale. And again, without us, PlanetScale wouldn't become what it is today. So let's keep note of that. So what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. And also let me know if you like this format where something happens in the full stack development space and I make a video about it. I've never done this before, so I'm curious to know what you think. Anyway, see you next time and thanks for watching.